I'm a huge fan of classic animation. Uh, that may not be something you knew about me. Um, those of you who've been around TurboZone um, for long may have known that I've I've tried to do um, cartoon reviews called TurboTunes. I love the golden age of animation. And, um, you know, there's not a lot of games that can capture the magic of that. Um, you know, more notably, there's recent games like Cuphead. Cuphead is fantastic and captures what I love about that era of animation. But just games based on that era of, like, animated property, there's not a ton. I think maybe, like, the Felix the Cat game on, on NES is pretty cool. Um, but you, you know, there's really not a lot. Um, and Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle isn't isn't helping the situation. Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle, or The Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle, or Bugs Bunny The Crazy Castle, or The Crazy Castle Bugs Bunny. I can't figure out how you're supposed to actually say this game's name. Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle is what I'm going to call it. Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle is a game um, based on Looney Tunes, uh, where you play as Bugs Bunny and you're in a crazy castle. Uh, what does this mean? That means that uh, you're, you're walking around levels, uh, going through doors, grabbing items, uh, and dispatching enemies, and the goal of each level is to collect all of the carrots. Um, not inherently a bad idea. This does feel like that classic age of NES games that, like, you know, were more arcadey games like Wrecking Crew, which I reviewed earlier this month. You know, just that style of game. Um, so I'm not, like, opposed to this. My issue with this game, I think, stems to the fact that this doesn't feel like a Looney Tunes game. And I'm not alone on that. I mean, the, for a matter of fact, they've they've taken this this gameplay and they've taken out Bugs Bunny and the Looney Tunes and they've sw like swapped in other characters. I think they've done Woody Woodpecker. I think in Japan they did like Mickey Mouse. I think there might even be like one based on Felix the Cat. Um, so yeah, this, this, this gameplay is fine. The game is fun enough, but the issue is that it lacks the soul. The soul that I want when I'm playing something based on Looney Tunes. Nothing's loony here. Nothing's toony here. <laughs> It's a real shame because, like I said, this this game isn't terrible. I've seen people say this game's bad. I don't think so. Uh, this is my first time playing the uh, the NES version. Um, I grew up playing the Game Boy version of this, which I mean is honestly, I think this game's better suited for the Game Boy because it is more of like a pick up, put down game. They give you a password if you want to continue. But, you know, it is just something to kind of play and just pass the time. It's I, I, I don't see people investing, you know, hours into beating Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. It's more just like, oh, I have a few minutes, you know, before the bus gets here. I'm going to play some Crazy Castle. Um, you know, and that's it, within that context, I think it works really well. Um, but it's just not a game that you would give a lot of time to. <laughs> Which is sad, um, because, you know, Bugs Bunny, Looney Tunes, I don't think has had the best track record. The only Looney Tunes game I can think of that, like, I think is legitimately good is, um, the, I have one on PS1, it's like Bugs Bunny Lost in Time or something like that. I have that that I play as a kid. That game's, like, actually pretty cool. But other than that, there's not, like, a lot of Looney Tunes games that I could think of that are just, like, stand out. I think maybe even Sheep Raider on PS1 as well, but still. Uh, you know, like, th this game's on NES. I also played a lot, uh, uh, an embarrassingly large amount of uh, Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout whenever I was a kid. Going back, that game's not great either, but, 
you know, we, when you're a kid, you just like something because it has your favorite characters in it, you know? And I was, I was huge into Looney Tunes, you know? I, I remember I had a, I had a boombox. I don't know if I can find a picture of this, this model boombox because it was so random. I had a boombox uh, that had a CD player in the front, and it was shaped like Bugs Bunny's head for some reason, and like the CD player like came out of his mouth. It was such a strange boombox I remember having, but I, I, I loved it because, again, I loved Looney Tunes and I love classic animation. Like, that's just, that's just my jam. Like, if I wasn't talking about video games on the internet, animation would be what I talk about. Um, so, sad to see this game the way it is. Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle, not a terrible game, not a great game. It's a, it's it's a, it's mediocre. It's it's it, it's an okay. It's it's okay. Like it's that's all I get to say about Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. Do I advise you play it? Probably not. I mean, you could probably find better games to play. Play Wrecking Crew. That's a better arcade style game. You know, whatever. 